Hi, this is Dr. Brandon Champ from Algoma University, and I'm going to give a brief demonstration on how to produce a scatter plot with two uh, sets of data uh, in Microsoft Excel. So, what I have here is a collection of data, uh, including a list of uh, tree species, uh, a binary uh, encoding uh, variable for whether the species is an angiosperm or a gymnosperm, uh, data for mean species wood density and maximum age as taken from uh, a variety of uh, sources. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to insert and that gets me to the graphing panel here. Then I'm going to select a scatter graph right here and the first thing I'm going to do is move it out of the way here and of course it's empty. Now I have to go up here and select some data. So I click on that and the first thing I want to do is add a series of data. All right. So I'm going to add a series, and I'm going to start, call this first series gymnosperms. And I'm going to select the x values, which I'm going to make mean wood density here for all of the values. And you'll note I only go for the, the zero angiosperm, or angiosperm gymnosperm values, which are gymnosperms. Then I'll select the, uh, oops, pardon me, I'll select the y data and I'll select uh, the maximum age data for the same set of species. And you can see on the right that as I do this, it fills out the graph. Now I can add another series here, and I'll call this one angiosperms. Now for this one, I'm going to select mean wood density just for the angiosperms. There. And for the Y data, I'm going to select the maximum age for those species. Okay. Now as I add those, I can select OK here, and I can go back up and I can see that my, uh, my data have been added to the graph. Now I can change and manipulate this graph in a variety of ways that are useful. Uh, let's say, for example, I don't want to have these horizontal bars. I can simply select them and delete them. Uh, I can also change the scale of the x-axis, which as you can see includes a lot of, of blank space, so I can double click on the uh, axis labels there and go, instead of using an automatic uh, axis label, I can change that to a manual one and put it to 0 0.02 and you can see that that adjusts the graph. Now I'm also, uh, I, I might also want to move the legend around um, and I can also double click on the legend to give, give myself some options, although sometimes it's hard to double click on it. And there we go. I can basically make sure that it is allowed to overlap with the chart. Then I can move it around to wherever I want. Sometimes you move the graph by accident though, so be careful. And I can also add a, a border to that legend if I want, uh, border styles or border color. A solid line. You can put it in whatever color you want. I'm going to select black. There you have it. Uh, now the only thing missing here uh, really is the axis label. So under chart tools, the layout, you can go to axis titles, primary horizontal axis label, and I'm going to select uh, species mean wood density, and then in brackets uh, put the, the units. that. And then for the, the y-axis, I'm going to select from a variety of, of ones here. I'm going to do the rotated title and species maximum age in years. Always putting the units. And there I go. Now, I can do other things with this. I can change the color of these symbols so if I and, or the shape of these symbols. So let's say I wanted both to have diamonds. I might take a look at the marker style or the or the marker options for example so I can select from a variety here um, built in I can select diamonds so we've got only diamonds I can change the size of those um, I can change the fill of them for example I can make it so they have no fill right so they're clear um, I can change the outside or I can change keep it solid I'm going to go back to red because I like red. Close. 
and you can see that you can adjust the graph in a variety of ways. Now, Microsoft Excel may not be accepted as one of the premier graphing programs, but it's sufficient for getting some uh, graphs in place. Now, if I want to take this and place this in a document that I'm going to hand in for school or something like that, um, you can simply, uh, once you've selected the graph by the exterior border, you can copy it and paste it into a Word document. And that's how you produce a, a scatter plot graph in Microsoft Excel.